You're watching F5. We are here at Jitex 2024 at the World Trade Center in Dubai. I'm joined by Osama. Osama, can I get you to introduce yourself? Hi, how are you? So my name is Osama Lesmer. I'm a solution engineer, part of uh, Gulf team, covering a couple of uh, region. The more main focus in enterprise and government and some of the major financing account in the region. You have a pretty diverse region, actually, a few different uh, countries that you cover um, and a couple different verticals as well. And with all of that, we were just talking before, one of the main things that you're seeing come up over and over again is still API protection. Maybe we can get into that a bit. Yeah, so true. So today, as, as you might know, the digital transformation is taking a huge place in most of the organization. And part of this digital transformation and what we hear today from AI perspective, the application has been developed where API start mean being a major part of the application from a customer point of view. What we used before a long time, it was mainly API within the environment, which was exposed over public. So this is why it was less to have thought about security. But today as part of the application, API is exposed to the internet and can be providing a very critical information. And the main challenge we see it from the customer that he's not aware exactly what APIs he has, what information we provide, because you, we, this layer usually is managed by the DevOps team. Taking it back to the application, now security teams start being concerned about what those data is being exposed. I need to know what the data, how I can understand it, and how I can secure it. And this is one of the main topic in most of our discussion and, and uh, 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 meetings we do with our customer from all the sectors, government, banking, all of them they are having this portion of API which they want to secure. Before we secure it, we have to know it. Because what we don't know, we cannot secure. That is very important. This is where we do it in F5 and one of our solution, if, which is F5 distributed cloud which provide the security layer, sorry, provide the discovery layer part, which give you all understanding of your st API stack, then we help you to, to secure it. Mm. So in security, we have to be more proactive, right? Mm. So that way we put you to be more proactive and try to mitigate and secure your APIs, even without seeing any attack, mm. how we can minimize the risk, how we can minimize the footprint of the API on the internet. Mm. So this is most of our discussion nowadays with the customer. This is start to being one of the top discussion with the customer and with CISOs in, in organizations. Would you say that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that you probably have a background in web app security as well. Would you say the current state that we're in with API security is more mature or less mature than we have been with web apps? So from a security point of view, we are more mature, right? We are, we, as we are mature in web, we are maturing in API. The point because API, from technical point of view, it's end of the day is, a, is HTTP traffic, right? But we are lacking, we were lacking the, the discovery part, the knowledge of what APIs we have. And that we have it in our solution today. We help the customer to understand his API level and then provide him the relevant security and advice how we can mitigate, right? So from maturity point of view, yes, we are mature. Uh, and and uh, we have multiple customers on the API nowadays. And one thing, you don't have to mention any customer names. However, from what I understand, you've actually been firsthand involved in some of the attacks that have happened um, to some of your customers in the region. Um, some of that stuff is heating up these days. Um, can you talk us through some of those situations and what you've seen? So yes, in, in taking consideration what's going on in the region we have, uh, in Middle East specifically, we see a huge of DDoS attack is impacting some of the, some of the countries. Jordan, Kuwait, UAE, and most of the Gulf countries and Middle East countries, we see a lot of, most of the customers, they do have a DDoS attack services. So one of our customers has reached out to us and he said, you know, I have a DDoS attack. How you can help us? And with all the support we have from back-end team, we're able to onboard him to our distributed cloud where, where, where we'll be able to provide him a full stack of DDoS protection all the way from layer three to layer seven. So what we have done for that customer, we have onboarded him in 
within short notice, mm. with the support of all the back-end team. Mm. And then we start helping him not only in DDoS, because his aim was a DDoS, mm. but as a platform, we have a full security stack when it comes to application and API. So DDoS was the main driving for this requirement. However, we show him how much we do when it comes to API security, how much we do when it comes to WAF. Mm. And then we show him all the layer seven part, and he was like impressed that, okay, I can get one service, can provide me all these functionality, all the way from DDoS, from WAF, from API security, and so on. So this is how we had drive it with them, and we have successfully helped him to mitigate that attack, and then we are moving in, in, in process with them to move forward. I mean, the attacker's not necessarily going to stop at DDoS either. So, um, you know, it would be, it would be um, maybe a, a detriment to only assume that once you've solved one problem that you've solved all of them. So that's great to be able to bring everything in together uh, and, and address all of that. Um, yeah, fantastic to see. I'm sure, you know, over the next year, if I make it back out here again, we're going to see even more growth and acceleration in the region, especially in the areas that you touch as well. So looking forward to uh, checking in with you on that. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for chatting with thank me you. today. Uh, thank you for checking out this video. We'll have more from Jitex 2024. So make sure you follow, like, subscribe. And otherwise, we will see you on the next one. Bye now. Thank you.